Hi there, I'm Camilla Campuzano, the Community Manager of Montessori Thrive and Needle Marketing. Welcome to the Needle Marketing YouTube channel where every week I make videos to help Montessori school leaders and administrators market their schools, grow their enrollment, and find a sense of community and support online. In this week's video, I'm going to be talking about lead generators and really what makes a lead generator good and valuable to your target customer, in this case, prospective parents. So let's go ahead and get started. What should a lead generator do? A good lead generator for a Montessori school website is going to be all about attracting, engaging, and capturing the interest of potential prospective parents and how you can offer them value. So a good lead generator really should offer value to your prospective parent. What is something that they would want to read? What is something that would maybe make their decision-making process a little bit easier for selecting a Montessori school or offer them more insights as to the benefits of Montessori? It should be a resource to them. It should help parents make a more informed decision. You ultimately want people who are mission aligned and people who are mission aligned made a decision from a place of being well-informed and knowledgeable. And when you're offering a resource where they can learn about the unique benefits of Montessori, they're gonna make a more informed decision. And it should also build trust. And what I mean by this is you should be able to deliver high quality content in a quick manner that should be able to say, oh, this is a legitimate, incredible school that is offering value here. That will build trust between you and a prospective family. So a good lead generator should always have a clear CTA or call to action that encourages those website visitors to take that next step, whether it's scheduling a tour, downloading a brochure, or filling out an inquiry form. These are all just examples of a couple of lead generators you can have. Here's an example that we grabbed from our Nido site. Um, it's just our Montessori or conventional what's best for your family white paper. This is a clear CTA. You have the send me the white paper button as well. Um, and this is something that offers value because it's going to give parents a little bit more insight as to what would be the right fit for their family when it comes to their child's education. It's going to give them information that's valuable. And it's something that all they have to do is exchange a first and last name and email to receive. So this is just a, a good example of how you can use a good CTA. Here's another example. One of our lead generators on our sample school website is just simply having a quiz. Is Montessori right for your child? Take our short quiz to find out. This is a fun and engaging way to let people spend more time on your website and impress them with the resources and features that you have. And it can give them some insights as to why Montessori might be the right fit for their child. Um, here's an example of our uh, another lead generator that we have, um, just a little CTA here, request tuition information. Tuition is usually the number one thing that parents want to know more about when they visit a school website. It's the biggest pain point. So we recommend having um, a form to fill out before handing over tuition information. You can say something like tuition varies by program, complete this form to receive tuition rates. Um, for your child delivered directly into your inbox. This should be delivered automatically. I'll expand more on that later. But um, this is another way that you can generate leads on your website. You want to have several of these forms and opportunities for parents to hand over their contact information because this is how you're going to be able to communicate with them directly, create those personalized messages, and ultimately get them to enroll at your school. Another thing that makes a lead generator good in the Montessori space is having compelling content offerings. We touched upon this a little bit earlier, but really you want to offer content such as ebooks, guides, webinars, things of that nature, or your tuition per se, that are actually going to be compelling and valuable to the people visiting your website. Um, you want to make sure to tailor the content to address common questions or concerns parents have about Montessori education. Here are a couple of examples of the lead generators that we have on our Montessori Thrive collection. Things like a common sense guide to choosing a Montessori school. I think a parent would want to read that or download that form. Um, childcare options, cheat sheet for parents. Five things to look for when touring a childcare program. Montessori Waldorf play-based. Don't decide until you read this. So all of these forms are offering a lot of value to parents who are doing their school search right now. Montessori versus traditional is another great one. What's the difference? Sometimes, you know, parents might see things on certain mom blogs or they might hear some from word of mouth that um, Montessori is just 
where kids do whatever they want. Instead, you can offer them a resource where you outline the differences. Here's what you'll find in Montessori. Here's what you'll find in traditional. And you're the one delivering that information and building that trust with them. So these are just some examples of some lead generators. There's loads that you can use throughout your website and be creative, but you want to think about your target audience and tailor that content to them. What would they actually care to download? Another thing that's important to consider if you're going to be using um, lead generators on your website is that they should be easy to use. You should not have a long form with every question imaginable. Um, it's it's better to use um, a user-friendly inquiry form. Things You can do this directly on the landing page. You could have it on a contact page. Um, and you want to make it easy for parents to express their interest in their school. I recommend keeping it short and sweet. You just need their first name, email, phone number. And you also want to ensure that this is easy to do across devices. So it should be mobile-friendly. It should also work um, on a laptop, on a tablet, because you never know how parents are accessing your website. So these forms should be easy to use. You should um, really look into making everything on your website user-friendly, but especially your lead generators. Automatic delivery is also crucial, and this is why you should be using automations um, on your website. So if your only you know, way for parents to increase with you, um, to engage with you is to just put your phone number and email on your website, you're missing out. Using automation so that parents can put in their contact information and automatically receive a response from you really builds trust, and it's important to deliver the goods immediately and quickly. So as soon as a parent clicks submit whenever they request, you know, per se, the, the tuition information, that should trigger an email in your um, system to be sent directly to them with the correct attachments. Ensuring a quick delivery builds trust and credibility. You can use a CRM to do this. A client relationship manager will help you. So that for, let's say that every form that you have will trigger a specific email to that email address. So that way you don't have to do things manually. They get what they need immediately. This is crucial if you want to have good lead generators. Also, you want to be nurturing your leads. So if you're putting all of this time and effort into creating high quality lead generators, you want to make sure that you take the time to put together um, good email nurture campaigns and those good automatic automatic um, email replies in place so that everything is personalized. You can follow up with that family and they're receiving messaging from you until they unsubscribe. This is important. You want to implement an effective follow-up system and you want to everything to be personalized and timely. This is crucial for converting inquiries into enrollees, which is ultimately your goal here. Another thing that can be done with a Montessori CRM, if you're looking for a great Montessori CRM, definitely check ours out at Needle Marketing. The link is in the description below to our website and services, but you want to be using automations on your website so that parents can engage with your content at any given moment 24-7. I do hope that you found this video helpful, and I do hope as well that you start using lead generators on your Montessori school website if you're not already, or at least take some time to refine the ones that you do have to make sure they're high quality so that you can build trust with prospective families and deliver that value to them. It's important to have strategies in place to grow your contact list, your email list, and make sure that you're reaching out to families who are showing interest and in downloading or requesting a lead generator. If you're looking for resources on lead generators, check out Montessori Thrive, which is our school membership site. The link to that is in the description below. Uh, we have loads of lead generator templates on there ready for you to download and utilize on your school website. And of course, if you're looking for help on building a school website, definitely check out our services. We only work with Montessori schools, and we really feel strongly about building websites that help schools grow admissions and enrollment. I'll be back next week with another Montessori marketing video. Until then, take care.